When packing books, a two cubic foot carton should be used, as books are heavy. Group books by size whenever possible. There are a few methods on how to pack books. Always begin by putting clean paper bottom of your carton. The most common way to pack books is to stand them up in the carton. Begin packing books from the bottom shelf. Put the open part of the book against the side of the carton, just as you would place them on a shelf. For your next row, pack books spine to spine. You will get two rows this way, and if there is still space for a third row, place paper between the second and third row. Depending on the remaining space, you can also turn books sideways. Put your books spine to spine. Remember, pages should not be touching pages. Do not put books in too tightly, as they may damage when removing them from the carton. If there is space remaining in the carton, use crushed paper to fill the space to avoid any shifting or damage. Cover your first layer of books with a clean sheet of packing paper. Packing books flat and stacked is yet another way to safely pack books for transportation. This is pretty basic. Again, remember not to have pages facing pages. Put books into the carton spine spine. Where you have no choice, use crushed paper in between the books. Continue to fill the carton, utilizing it to its maximum. And as you can see, the carton is full but not overfilled to cause any damage to the books or the carton. Clean paper over the top before sealing the carton. Once you have completed your first two cube, put the next empty two cube on top of the first and so forth. Continue packing from the bottom of the bookcase up. With this method, cartons are being packed and there will be less strain on your back. Another way to group books is spine down. Put books in the carton with the spine touching the bottom of the carton. Never pack books with the spine facing upwards as the glue may break away from the binding causing books to warp. As your first row is complete, you may put the second row of books sideways, continue with the spine facing downwards. Do not put books in too tightly as they may damage when removing them. When your first row is complete, use clean packing paper over your completed row before commencing your next row of books. Continue to fill the carton putting books on their spine. If there is any space remaining in the carton, use crushed paper to fill the space to avoid any shifting or damage to the books. Put clean paper over top of your last row before sealing the carton. Did you notice how comfortable the physical position of the pack was? Packing from the bottom of the bookshelf up, and by stacking the cartons, your work will be that much easier and with less strain on your back. Sometimes the carton will not have enough room to put your books upright, so the flat and stacked procedure, as we discussed, work well. Paperbacks and magazines are better stacked. Organize books or magazines according to the size with the bigger ones laying flat on the bottom of the carton and work your way up. When packing expensive or books with sentimental value, take the time to wrap each individual book in packing paper before placing them into the carton. Use one or two sheets of clean packing paper, begin wrapping the book by covering it with paper and continually tucking in the overlapping paper to make a nice, neat package. If there is space remaining in the carton, use crushed paper to fill the space to avoid any shifting or damage. Put clean paper over the top of your last row before sealing the carton. Books can be packed using all three methods in one carton. Make sure you don't pack books at all angles. And lastly, using a permanent marker, write the customer's name, order number, room, and contents on the carton.